All right, hi folks. Um, I just wanted to show you a piece of kit that I've made and I'm finding it pretty useful at the moment. Probably would be better if I wasn't standing such an incline. Anyway, this um, is a holder for initially a folding saw which goes into the front pocket here and the back of it is designed to carry a small axe or hatchet and if you are one of these people who are inclined like myself to carry a, uh, a large outdoors knife um, this can also be carried on the um, pouch itself so you pretty much have all your cutting needs in one place and the thought behind it was once you get to a campsite or a place, you know, wherever you're going to stop and now you need to go and, you know, gather firewood, that type of thing, is that you'll be able to dump your main pack um, because most of us tend to have like our axes and things strapped to the pack. Um, saws probably carried on the belt, but either way, whatever your preference. But I thought it'd be easier just to put everything in one place and be able to head off and um, you could, you know, deal them with, with the large knife or trim with the axe. You'd have the saw you know, to cut, uh, you know, whatever you need up. So, that's um, what this is all about. And the way that this all attaches, and this is uh, also given up uh, for your own individual um, needs. You know, if you um, actually get one of these from me, you can put whatever you like through these straps. There's there's a nice strap here, which is placed for two connecting points, one for your strap. And um, the way I've secured this here is just using the strap for the mask, uh, which goes through here, which stops it, um, you know, moving and falling out. All right, so... This pouch is actually um, set for about a 19 inch folding saw, so this little fiskers of mine, you can see, is a lot smaller than the pouch can actually carry. This was set up actually for um, a, a gone boy, I think, what it was we eventually got in here. But so this pouch is large enough and generous enough to um, carry quite a few things in. Um, I've got a saw in here. And I've got, what else have I got here? Oh, I've got my uh, bow drill kit in here as well. I'll come back to this a bit later. But, um, it's got two press studs which makes it easier uh, to get in and out of this. So in getting your axe out, it's very simple. Just release that move it through, your axe is out. Alright, we're going to be coming back to the axe on a, another piece of equipment. Now, with the knives, with these, um, the axe collars itself, you can uh, just run your molly strapping through there. So the knife removes very easily and uh, once again um, what you can also do with this then is just use it for lighter purposes you know you can put your bow drill kit in it and I'll be back with another thing in a second. The bow itself can just be put through here. And if you take the actual uh, bow string, you can just do a couple of loops around you, tie it up, and, and then it, it'll hold itself in place. And you can kind of just go off on your own, you know, primitive situation if you like. So, I mean, this thing, is you can hang what, whatever you like off it. There's a lot of, you know, hold and belt options on it. All right, so. Let me take this around. We're going to have a second 
piece of a gear coming up now. There's always been a major um, issue with folk um, who've been wanting to, you know, continue using molly versus, you know, traditional sort of canvas looking things. But they've wanted to take out an axe and I haven't really seen anything that allows you to comfortably carry, um, you know, an axe on molly strapping. So... I'll have to take that off then. Alright, so anyway, what I've done is I've come up with a um, an adapter that fits Molly and uh, will also fit a small axe or hatchet. So this is the adapter that I've made. The Axle hatchet goes through the first collar, gets secured with a strap, and uh, there you go. Now it's up to you on how you want to secure the axe further down on the molly, whether you want to do um, just some paracord or some kind of other holder. What I've found works very well in conjunction with this not the, uh, um, on the actual shaft of the axe is a K-bar um, adapter. This is a standard USGR item. They can be found on eBay. Um, they're not expensive. They're probably about two dollars a piece, three dollars a piece. And they actually work very well in holding this whole thing um, in place. And I, you can see them I mean, in shorter view, you know, really running around. There's not much movement on this, and the axe itself is, is um, you know, it's completely fixed to the pack. So, um, that's one element of it. So now once again, if you are somebody who likes to carry a large knife, I do, I tend to, to carry a large knife over an axe most of the time. What you can do is uh, use, once again, another K-bar adapter. It fits onto the molly. Um, folk, you must remember that molly is, is a threading system. It's under and over the whole time. Otherwise, um, it doesn't work. So like here you go, under and under again, well, yeah, it's under over. You'll get the picture, but I say, if you are getting anything that's molly, just make sure you know how to thread it on, otherwise you're gonna get a negative result because the correct strapping and threading is what actually binds it and makes it so strong. So here I've added a K-bar adapter to my adapter. And uh, I can return once again with the knife. This is one thing that's very nice about having um, a knife that has a molly compatible sheath because you can do so much with it. So we're just going to open this which is a velcro flap that goes through the, uh, the strapping on the back. Same down here. And there's the knife on and good to go. You want to take your axe, just put your axe in. Just got to create a little bit of space down here. All right, all locked up, good to go. So there you have the option of carrying axe, large knife, or either or, no problems at all. What's nice about these um, adapters is they don't interfere with access to the uh, pockets underneath them on the actual pack itself because it's so easy to remove. And uh, as you can see, I can, uh, I can get into this zipper here with no problem and it's easy enough getting these on and off. 
All right. So, folks, that's pretty much um, what I wanted to show you. These are available at my Etsy store. I will uh, put a link in with the video. And uh, hopefully this is something that would prove to be helpful to you people who've had problems with trying to mount your, your axles or other tools onto Molly that I don't have any type of um, adapter available commercially. Alright, I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of the woods and uh, thank you for watching.